Hey everybody, it's me, your friend Lagbrut, back again. I've got another great video for you today. This is Classic WoW, but today we're going to talk about the top five reasons Alliance will own in Alterac Valley in Phase 2 once it's released. It's been talked about for as long as I can remember as a Horde player, the idea that Horde have a disadvantage inside of Alterac Valley. So today I'd like to break down some of the reasons why people might feel this way, and uh, I hope you, uh, hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you do like the content, it really helps me out. Number one, bunkers versus towers. When you take a horde tower as an alliance player, you can climb a tower and go into what is essentially a private room that has a flag that you can quietly cap outside of the LOS of the guards. Uh, the experience the horde encounter uh, on the flip side, when trying to take an alliance bunker, is much different. First, you have to kill bowmen before you can cap the tower, and they have a good amount of health and do decent damage as well. Once you kill at least two tower guards, you can then hide behind a pillar uh, to stay out of the line of sight of the other bowmen to cap the flag. This presents a definite advantage as far as speed that it keeps to, uh, takes to cap a tower in Alterac Valley for the alliance. Number two, Stormpike Graveyard. Alliance has uh, two very profound ge geographical advantages when, with regards to choke points, and one is at the top of this hill, right before Stormpike Graveyard. This is high ground, and we all know what that means. What's worse is if you make it to the top of this hill, you'll encounter a tight valley uh, between two mountains making another choke point all the way through the valley. Once you make it to the graveyard, then you encounter the guards, which after that gauntlet, you may be uh, spent and, have to, and then you get uh, you know, attacked by the guards. And uh, the graveyard for the Alliance is very close to this choke point. Uh, so it can be very difficult to take once you even do make it to the top of that hill. Number three is the bridge to Dunbaldar. Uh, once you take Stormpike Graveyard, you'll, no you'll now notice you have to cross a bridge to get to the Alliance base. This is the only way into the base and, f and effectively funnels all the Horde onto this bridge. And it is by far the most pronounced advantage Alliance have over Horde in Alterac Valley. And, uh, and it is just a very difficult, ch tight choke point that they can keep you on. And I think the uh, experiences most people have in Alterac Valley will bear that out. Number four is the graveyards inside of the Alliance base. The graveyard is very close to the flag inside of the Alliance base. And in essence, um, it keeps the Alliance very close and keeps them from respawning uh, quickly and being able to uh, keep the horde from capping uh, the flag at Dumbledore. The, the in my opinion, this is this is a very distinct advantage of having the graveyard so close to the flag, right in front of their commander's base. Uh, and the horde's graveyard is much further away from the action, and uh, you know a stealth player can come in and take it uh, very easily, while uh, you know somebody is capping the towers in the inside of the horde base. Um, I feel like the horde base is just much, uh, much easier to take um, if there is a choke point to uh, talk about it's at the top of this little hill with the gate um, but that one again is, uh, is is much shorter of a choke point than uh, than the bridge itself number five the bowmen from Dunball Arc bunkers will fire you on the bridge as you try and cross uh, this is another definite advantage and adds significantly so much so that it deserves its own ranking um, the bowmen rank very highly in the amount of kills that they've received as far as npcs and these numbers bear out that uh, with what the blizzard has uh, released letting us know that the alliance have reached uh, our command uh, the hordes commander way more than we've uh, and, and have died significantly more um, because they've reached it much more. So the numbers definitely bear out that the the Alliance have a, an advantage. It's going to be very interesting when all of the NPCs are added back after Classic. Um, we're going to have a lot of uh, back and forth. People, Horde and Alliance are going to be trying different strategies, but I think ultimately it's going to come down to um, those very significant choke points that they have. 
and um, and it's uh, so rounding out that top five is the bowmen that attack you as you try and cross the bridge to go to Dunbarra, and that's going to do it for the top five reasons that Alliance uh, are going to own in Phase Two Classic. And if you think I missed anything, make sure and let me know down in the comments. Or if you think I'm totally off on this, let me know. Uh, if you think if you think the Alliance don't have an advantage over the Horde or an Octrack Valley, or if you think the Horde have an advantage over Alliance, uh, give me the reasons why in the comments below. Thanks for watching so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Check out my website, sadgamers.com. The ch Twitch channel is twitch.tv slash lagboot. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.